Hello, Hanchi Steve Kaufman here. I'd like to welcome you to the Book of Five Rings Open Discussion Forum. What I'm going to do for the next half an hour is discuss particular principles that Musashi has laid down for practitioners of, in his day, sword work, and in our day, general martial arts, and what I prefer to call it as martialism. Martialism being a much more effective manner of approaching a combat situation. There are many uh, aspects of the Book of Five Rings that I'm sure you are, or well, many of you are aware of. And if you're not, understand that the uh, Book of Five Rings is based on the five principles of the Buddhist universe, earth, water, fire, air, and no thing, no thing, not nothing, no thing. And there's a significant difference, and I'd be more than happy to explain that all to you. If you have any questions, jump right in. There's the chat. I'm yours. Okay. A little bit about the uh, background of the Book of Five Rings, written in the uh, late 1600s. Supposedly, here we go, supposedly written by Musashi, although I have a feeling that it was his teachings that his students picked up on and they wrote them down. And that's why it's open to wide interpretation. However, to get the interpretation proper, you have to essentially be living the, uh, shall we say, the martial lifestyle. And keep in mind, in those days in medieval Japan, it was like you're walking down the road, somebody comes in your face, boom, you took them right out. There was no, um, shall we say, false modesty. My version of the Book of Five Rings, let me get that glare off of there, is the best-selling version of Musashi's teachings in the entire world, bar none. It completely uh, sells more than any other versions about, regardless of the language or the interpretation. Celebrating now 25 years of the book, just constantly selling and going. It's been in over a million and a half copies. I don't even know how many anymore, and as many languages. And there's got to be a good reason for that. Also, feel free to go to my YouTube channel, Hanshi422, H-A-N-S-H-I-422, and you can see the entire first four lessons of the Book of Five Rings. I'm doing the entire book. So we finished the Book of Earth, and we're ready now to do the Book of Water. Also, any questions you may have, Hanshi Kaufman at gmail.com. Many of the questions that I get concerning Musashi's teachings have to do with applying them to everyday life. And yes, absolutely, you can apply the principles of martialism to everyday life. And I stress martialism. Martial arts, yes, you're practicing skills and techniques and things like that, and you practice martial arts. But when you get into it, you don't use martial arts. You become a martialist. Now, a lot of people bandy that word around. I mean, there's even some people that say, well, we teach martialism. They don't have a clue as to what it is, but that's okay. And I do have a certain attitude towards it, having been involved with this martialism, having started teaching way back in the Vietnam era when I was in the Air Force. So, so let's talk about the five books of the Book of Five Rings. Book one is Earth, the foundation of it all, and how you have to conduct yourself accordingly in any given situation to maintain yourself with dignity, integrity, rectitude, and self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-respect. Just to jump around and swing swords and swing nunchucks and throw punches and kicks does not make you a substantial practitioner, okay? That means you're practicing an art, you know? That's like, you know, you pick up a, you stop playing the piano, you just play the scales, and you can only play the songs the way they're written. The whole idea with martialism is that you use your techniques and you develop yourself to a point where you can essentially improvise. And that's how Heavy Ru Budo, that's my school, Heavy Ru, School of the Serpent, 
that's how we teach, okay? We teach kata, and then we teach the improvisational aspect of kata. And if you'll receive, if you'll see in the Book of Five Rings, Musashi essentially talks to you the same way. And he says, look, it's okay to practice over and over and over and over 50,000 times, put a little variation in there so you don't become boring to yourself as well, okay? The uh, difference is that uh, as you're developing your improvisational aspect of the kata, you start to see more into it. And a lot of people, yeah, well, katas are great, man, but they don't work in a real fight. Well, I got to tell you the truth, man. Katas are the only thing that really work in a real combat situation. And the reason for that is that you know what you're doing. So you're not just throwing kicks and punches and getting into a swing out over here. That is not what karate is about. Karate essentially is just one thing. Take out the target, okay? I mean, you don't want to do Somebody comes in your face and you go, throw a shot and kill them. No, this is not the way to think. In my view, now may other people may have a different perspective, but that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. The whole idea is to take out the target. Take out the target. Don't get emotionally involved. The reason kata is the most effective way to deal with things is because it's specifically applied to any conceivable attack. Anytime you're practicing, you're doing um, bunke with, with someone and uh, <clears throat> one step they're attacking, they'll attack one shot at a time and you're developing technique to handle situations. And this becomes, I guess, it just, grows inside of you so that any situation that occurs that would utilize that particular technique comes to the forefront at the time it's required. But you don't walk around telling everybody, hey man, look at me, I'm this, that, and the other thing. You know, once you do that, you're setting yourself up as a target. You don't want to set yourself up as a target. My particular approach to the martial life is to practice with the idea that if I ever have to use it, and I also have the mindset that permits me to not have to use it. That's it. This is the highest end of understanding of martialism. You, are, you know, everybody talks about I'm a warrior, a warrior, this warrior. You're not a warrior unless you've been in a war. Okay, uh, you know, is it, well, he's a corporate warrior, or he's this, or he's a tournament warrior. Those, those are cute little, uh, quaint little uh, term, terms that people use, you know. The guy does a kata, who does is a blinding, absolutely blinding speed, and yet can't function in a combat situation. There's nothing wrong with practicing the kata to get it to run, but make sure you're using it in an applicable format so that you can develop your own skills. Okay. Uh, the more you practice something, obviously, the more it reveals of itself to you. The sincerity of the spirit of the thing itself within you, it says, okay, hey, you're practicing, you're doing this. And it opens up certain avenues of understanding for you that you may not have even been aware of. And so what you do is you take this and you continue to practice. Hey, today I'm going to the gym. I'm going to practice my roundhouse kick. That's what I'm going to do. Fine, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as when you're practicing the roundhouse kick, you understand that the roundhouse kick is for one purpose. That's to take somebody's head off or break their ribs, as the case may be. You have got to not just say, wow, did you see that? I didn't see that. That was the most incredible kick. You have to think in terms of what you're going to use the technique for. When you do that, your psyche takes over and says, okay, situation arises where that particular thing is needed. Boom. Here comes that roundhouse kick. And it's not like, God, this guy's coming at me. Let me throw a roundhouse kick over here, man. Bop, 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 boom. That's nothing. That's not doing anything. When you practice, the same thing when you're practicing music, 
Same thing when you're practicing cooking, whatever it is you're practicing, whatever it is you're doing. Everything you do is a practice. It's an application. It's a practice. It's a performance. You know? It has to have a purpose. Or else it's just like it's just making moves. It's just going through motions. And you're not going to get anything accomplished from that particular perspective. Thank you for joining in, even though you didn't. I mean, if you want to get a hold of me, Hanshi Kaufman at gmail.com. You want the books, it's Hanshi.com slash books. You can get that there. Any reasonable question I answer, I don't have any uh, problems with uh, dealing with any things that you question. Okay? If you like what you're seeing, once this is up on YouTube, if you like what you're seeing, okay, click on like and click on subscribe. And that way you'll know every time that I'm going to be online. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. <laughs>